Hello, all you beautiful people. So, you've started your Minecraft world and have come across a nice, peaceful village during your exploration. So you do what any sane person would do. Slaughter every living entity within an 1,000 block radius. But what if I told you that these villagers could actually be very helpful to your world and get you tons of items that will help you terminate this stupid, idiot, dumb, negative IQ bit? Villagers are extremely easy to use and can get you some very important things, such as enchantment books or more rare items like enchantment bottles. So today, I'm going to tell you all about these cubic squid words so you can benefit in the most ethical way possible. Let's do this! Gonna start by talking about some general information. Make sure you bring emeralds when it comes to villagers, as this is the only time you'll ever even use them. Trading with villagers will increase their level, and each time they level up, a new trade will unlock, getting better the higher level you achieve. Believe it or not, these petty bastards can actually gossip about you, so if you go around doing person punching as a sport, the villagers might send the Giga Chad Iron Golem to go teach you a lesson. I didn't punch him that hard, I'm sorry! You can also breed two villagers if there's an empty bed in the village and they have enough food in their inventory. But something about making two people forcefully reproduce does not sit right with me. Now, getting into the more specific stuff, we're gonna talk about villager professions. If you place a certain block beside a villager, they'll go to it and start working the job associated with that block. Still wondering when the government is going to add the famous YouTuber block in my house. There are 13 different villager professions, meaning they'll have different trades for you to explore. So I'm going to speed through these very quickly, as there are a lot of them, and highlight the important trades that you won't want to miss. The Armorer, spawned using a blast furnace. These guys have coal for emeralds, which can be very nice, and will give you some enchanted diamond armor at expert and master level. The Butcher, spawned with a smoker, is good if you have a completely vegan diet, or a diet of pure raw food. The Cartographer, spawned with a cartography table, can trade paper for emeralds, give you maps to rare structures, and banners if you want to make something crude. The Cleric, spawned with a brewing stand, have the Rabbit Foot Trick. They also have uh, enchantment bottles, so that's kind of nice. The Farmer, spawned with a composter, trade some basic crops and have golden carrots for all your food needs. The Fisherman, spawned with a barrel, have a decent string for emerald trade and are probably going to post their catch on their Instagram page. The Fletcher, spawned with a fletching table, have one of the easiest trades for emeralds, which is for sticks. You can also get tipped arrows, which is insane, unless you can speedrun the Ender Dragon in 9 seconds. The Leather Worker. Go away, you're bad. The Mason. You are also bad. The Shepherd. You only have paintings. Do you take me for some kind of peasant? The Warden. Huh? The Toolsmith and Weaponsmith, spawned with a smithing table and grindstone respectively, can give you some nice enchanted diamond tools that I guarantee you'll only use to siphon the enchantments out of. Now, I have saved the best, most OP trade for last. The Librarian, spawned with a lectern, will be able to give you enchanted books. Yes, any enchanted book. This means you can set up a shop full of librarians with every enchantment you could ever want. But by the time you finish it, humanity probably would have already went extinct. A quick little final tip as well, is if you cure a zombie villager with a weakness potion and gold apple, you'll be able to get a sweet discount on any villager. Or just leave them to their zombie ways, up to you. Well there you have it! That's all you need to know about villagers in Minecraft 1.19. Remember, if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. Please, just don't let this sweet little face down. He will cry if you don't subscribe. Make sure you guys leave a comment if I missed anything. Please, just shut up! <laughs>